All right. Hey. We're in Hank. My 2017 Mustang GT. Oh, already got my seat heater on because it is not 60 degrees. We're at like barely 50. So it's just barely good enough for those summer tires I got on there. Got my Michelin PS4S tires on. I did not readjust the calibration for the different diameter tires. But um, hopefully traction control doesn't think I'm crazy or going crazy or constantly slipping. We're, we're just going to see how this tests out. I know a lot of people that run their S550s and never do any kind of wheel size adjustment or calibration with the car's computer. I'm fortunate I have a Power Pack 2 to go along with the car from Ford Performance and it allows me to do some tuning within the computer software. I have no idea other than how to change my tire wheel size. Oh, I know we have him behind the passenger seat because I keep my harness plugged in back here. You can see. And I guess when we put his car seat back in here, I put him over behind the passenger. I usually put him behind me, so that's gonna make two videos. You're not gonna see the kiddo, you're just gonna hear the ethereal, bodiless voice of my little kiddo. I'm smiling. And he's smiling, just in case you didn't know. Yeah? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. We're gonna go for a little drive again. Yeah. Okay? We're gonna... um, let's do it for three minutes. Okay, three minutes. Let's come back for three I mean, I'm just hoping that you you don't know how long three minutes is. It's going to take some time, bud. All right. I don't know if these are the correct tire pressures or not. If they are, they're wonky. We got lower pressures on the passenger side than we do the driver's side, so be a little more careful when we take left turns. Oh, I'm so excited to drive my car. I love this thing so much. And this seat heater is the bomb. Oh, it's so good. I don't even have it all the way up. I only have it on two red bars. It goes up to three red bars. One, Super hot. I need, to, I need to tell you something. Okay, we're listening, bud. Let's get out of here. Uh, uh, like when the chairs warm up back here, it warms up my seat, then I start to warm up. Does it? Yeah. It warms you all up. And see, I'm not nervous backing onto my driveway because I have a backup camera that I'm not even using. But it has that cross traffic alert, which makes it. Oh, brakes. This thing has good brakes. <laughs> oh. We're good on gas, so we don't need to go get gas. I would put 93 premium in this car, it's tuned for it. It's tuned for it from factory. Or maybe it's 89 too. Okay. Cold tires. <laughs> that was pretty good. It was. I just wanted to see what kind of traction we had with these summers and not summer weather. We're a little floaty. We're a little cold. See that big tow truck? I did see that big old tow truck. I know you like tow trucks. Uh, I like them better than tow trucks. But they're two wheel drive. Two wheel drive. So I'm already noticing really big differences between this car, my S550, and my S197. My S197 has the most horrible suspension. I swear it's original and it's got almost 140,000 miles on it. So give it give it a break but uh way more twitchy in the steer this has the track handling suspension on it so it's not exactly made for the st for street driving i think it's fine i don't really i think it's amazing i think it handles fantastically so i don't really know why they say not to use it on the street but ah uh. Hank also has the GT350 Ford Performance Adjustable Exhaust. Um, I got adjustable so I could make it quieter if I wanted. I never make it quieter. Let me tell you something. We're listening. I'm going to give your daughter a better name. You can't give it a better name than Hank. Oh, cold 
old tires. So Hank is way more torquey. He's not as forgiving. And I make funny faces all the time when I drive him. So it's just what happens. God. I feel like I'm all over the road. I do feel like I'm all over the road. I wonder if we're gonna get any heat in these tires. We're just gonna take it slow. Take it slow. Nice little Tacoma. I like your Blue Ridge Parkway tag. Hank has a Blue Ridge Parkway tag. Don't stall your S550 like you stalled your S197. We are gonna take it a little bit slower because he is walking.
much quieter inside the cabin. I don't have any uh, worn out suspension parts thudding under my foot. The only thing I do have is cold tires. I can tell. And I do think the pressures are a little low, but they're warm enough. Put some heat on them on this curvy interstate.
way more comfortable with this car. I know it. I've driven it. I've autocrossed it. Um, I'm actually slightly uncomfortable because of how cold the tires are. But, um, we're listening, bud.
started that like a year after driving it because he's just so twerky. I love it and it, it's really, really great when you want to drive fast, but it's, it's not great when you're just trying to drive super easy.
people's driving speeds, but I'm not at my limit. There's no way all this is going to be pretty good. So this car took those bumps way better than the S197. Again, it has a completely worn out suspension, so. And I know that a solid rear axle isn't going to give you that comfort over the bumps as well, but I'm really excited to get the new suspension on. I can't wait. can't wait to see how it feels. So, I don't know if you're seeing it, but there's a little bit of uh, torque happening when I let off the gas. That's just a driving characteristic of this car, and I don't, I love it. I know how to kind of use it to my advantage, but I don't know. Some people might think that's disconcerting. I don't think so. Woo! That came a little quicker. I saw that car, and we're going faster than I remembered in the S197.
much easier.
less and less seriously when I, this is what I really want to do. I, the more I learn, the more I realize I don't know, which can be a little overwhelming. So, and I'm always a little sad when it's overcast. Like, seriously, the weather affects me pretty good. Rainy days make my body ache.